we have a special event which is to mark the fact that we have what has just been recognised as 97% sure as being a original Raphael painting. Scientists from the University of Bradford have used state-of-the-art facial recognition technique and we have just had a, a special launch to celebrate that fact and have the painting on display and we've just been showing everybody celebrating the fact that it's here. This is uh, probably one of us um, where AI is actually being used to authenticate and to verify art. The moment what happens is it's the learned, knowledgeable people looking at it through their naked eyes and, and trying to do the verification. Uh, of course, there are this potential that they might miss certain things, whereas AI can look at in, in greater detail. I was involved in uh, looking at the painting, or rather training an algorithm to, tr to look at the painting in a very great detail using artificial intelligence, which is the same technology that we're using for facial recognition. And what it means is that we can bring in objectivity and transparency into, into the process. So AI could be some sort of assistant to, to, to the people who are doing this. Over the past few years, the, um, quite a few of the big London auction houses and the National Gallery, Royal Academy, have been using science more and more to generate more information about the paintings they have. And no longer do you simply have to rely on the opinion of a connoisseur. Valuable though that is, you now can actually generate some hard evidence to back that up. This is a great example of research impact uh, where we take an idea, a research idea, and then we develop something, we utilize that and we make real use of it. So this is a, a good example where we, we've taken the facial recognition technology, the AI that we've developed in, in that space, in the biometric space, and applied in, in, the, in the real world of art. So this is a great, again, a great theme for us in, in the Center for Visual Computing to do research. And I'm hoping we're gonna bring in more kind of grants and more research activity into the center in this domain and obviously produce more results and more impact.